Listen, you guys can say what you want about Tom Cruise, but when it's time to do these Mission Impossible movies, the man is bringing his A game. Ethan Hunt is back, and he's got a pick up the pieces from the end of Rogue Nation where he captured Solomon Lane played by Sean Smith and now has left the remaining members of the syndicate to form a new group known as the Apostles and they are hell-bent on carrying out terrorist acts to shake up the status quo as far as world governments are concerned. This time around though the IMF will have to have oversight from the CIA thanks to Angela Bassett and Henry Cavill as August Walker and I'm sure we've all seen the scene from the bathroom fight where he's reloading his arms to knock dudes the hell out and yeah he's kind of a beast in this movie and him trading verbal and physical blows with Ethan Hunt is one of the high points. Another thing that really works is much like Rogue Nation, this movie actually goes out of its way to examine Ethan Hunt as a character and really kind of get to what makes him tick because, yeah, at this point you're kind of wondering what kind of operative he is and what's his thought process when he's carrying out some of these impossible missions. Another thing that I think was definitely a right step in grounding the film was the action because again we talk about Tom Cruise doing these crazy stunts but it definitely helps to sell everything when you think about all of these other big blockbusters where everything's done on a sound stage everything's done behind a green screen and here's this man in his mid 50s jumping across buildings breaking his ankle spending a year to learn how to fly a helicopter it may seem excessive but it definitely helps to make the film feel more real and help you get a good sense of what the stakes are because there's so much going on and again this is one of the things that i really love about this franchise is tom cruise's dedication and i'm so genuinely surprised that they haven't thought to like have a crossover with the fast and furious franchise because i feel like that would be awesome or awesomely stupid but the choice is yours bottom line is you need to see mission impossible fallout you need to see it in a theater you should need to pay that imax money i know it's a little pricey but this is one of those movies that definitely deserves to have as robust a film going experience as possible so please be sure to check it out